Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Now as a houseplant enthusiast you probably know popular philodendron species like this common heart-shaped philodendron scandens or the next one I'm gonna show you this philodendron Brazil that's also trailing close to my living room window. Or you might have some other popular philodendron like this philodendron Mykens climbing up a moss pole. And I do like all these popular philodendrons, but to be honest, from the start, I've always been more attracted to philodendrons that nobody is talking about. Videos about them on YouTube are non-existing or rare. You can't buy them in any big plant shops or nurseries. Most of them are quite affordable actually, and yet they don't seem to be able to win over the hearts of most houseplant collectors. So I call these philodendrons unpopular, and today I want to show you one species that checks all the boxes of an unpopular philodendron. So let's check out the philodendron insigne purple together. So this here is my philodendron insigne purple, at first sight it might look a bit plain, but trust me there is more to this plant than meets the eye. On the right you can see a picture of the plant when I received it first in April 2022, so it's been living in my place now for over two years. I paid 45 US dollars for it and the price actually went down, cause now it's available for only 30 US dollars. It came with 4 leaves and now it has 11. And talking about the leaves, these leaf blades are quite wide and also very thick and leathery, almost succulent. There is a central vein on each leaf that is a lighter shade of green than the rest of the leaf and also quite thick. And this means that this guy can stock up quite a bit of water in its leaves, so it's important to let the soil dry out completely before watering the plant again. I keep this plant right here, it gets some light of my living room window and also from a growing light, but it can definitely be happy with just medium light. Now the two newest leaves have a beautiful burgundy brownish color, as you can see when I put the plant in some springtime sunlight. The philodendron insigne purple has a rosette type of growing pattern, a little bit like a bird's nest fern, which is also an epiphyte, meaning that they grow on other plants or trees. Now this plant is ultimately a climber, but the space between the leaves on the stem is very small, and it's a slow grower, which means that it will take this plant many many years before it can make any use of a moss pole. So the reason why this plant is named Insigne Purple becomes quite clear when I show you the plant from below. The bottom part of almost all the leaves displays this amazing purple-brown color, except for the central middle vein on the leaf that has a contrasting green color. So overall I would say that this is a beautiful and atypical philodendron that's very low maintenance when it comes to watering and light requirements. It won't take up a lot of space, you don't need a moss pole for this guy for the first five years at least, and on top of that you get a stunning color scheme of light and dark green mixed with some brown and burgundy. And that's why, in my opinion, this unpopular philodendron deserves a little bit more love and attention. Okay, that's all for episode 27 of my ongoing series about unpopular philodendrons. Thanks again for watching, if you liked this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and or subscribing to my channel. I have many more unpopular philodendrons that I want to show you. For now I wish you a nice day and hope to see you back soon on my channel. Bye bye.